Now that you've uploaded and added all of the pages that you want for your website, you can look over in the All Pages section to see um, what pages that you have. And I went ahead and added all the pages that are available with the kit, including the privacy policy and the sign up um, uh, landing page, sorry. So now we'll go in and we'll start working on implementing our branding. The first thing that we're gonna go ahead and customize is in the theme options. I did go over how to implement your color palette and I went ahead and did that here earlier in one of the other tutorials. But if you didn't catch that, all you have to do is come into the Divi theme options and add your colors by clicking here and adding the hex code into each one individually. And once that's done, just make sure you click save changes. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the theme customizer. We were already here earlier in an earlier tutorial importing the presets for the theme customizer, but now you're gonna go ahead and make this your own. You're gonna implement your branding here. First thing I wanna do is go to the homepage settings and we're going to click a static page. This way we can watch the changes come across in real time. We did, um, I, as I told you earlier, to publish that home page so that you could see the changes happen in real time on that home page. So once you've done that, you're gonna back up, don't exit, just back up. You're gonna go to general settings, click site identity, and here you're gonna input your business name. This will be the site title. So I'm just gonna put Rejuve Branding Kit. And then your tagline goes here. So that's the, the slogan for your business or what it is. Um, you might wanna put your city name in here. It'll help with search engine results. So in this area, we're gonna select our site icon. This is the favicon that goes up here. So you're gonna hit select site icon. You want it to be 512 by 512 pixels. You're gonna upload the file by selecting the files and for me, that is in here. So you'll find your own favicon for your own branding. You should have that for your branding. So click favicon or upload your favicon by clicking it, click open. You'll see all of these pictures are already uploaded and that is from when you uploaded the pages for your website. I have some other pictures in there from other um, layout kits that I have. So just ignore those. So once your favicon has uploaded, you click, make sure it's selected by the blue check mark up there. Click select. It will upload and you'll see it automatically, the changes took place and now it's up there. So go ahead and back up. Go to layout settings. You can add your theme accent color here. And this is where that theme, that uh, color palette comes in handy that we went ahead and changed in that default color picker because now all you have to do to set that theme accent color is just click on it. You don't even have to keep adding it. So back up from there. Typography. So this is where you're going to change the font colors, the font sizes, and we'll do this even more. We'll um, customize it even further in the styling guide. So this is just a basic overview. You don't have to do anything with the text size up here or the spacing. That's something we'll do in the styling guide. So just go ahead and come down here to the header font. And you're going to input, you're going to change it to the font for your branding. The header is the bigger uh, font size up here. For Divi, the fonts that are preloaded in here are Google fonts. So if you don't already have a font, you can go to fonts.google.com to look for fonts that work for you and for your um, branding. So we'll go ahead and change these fonts. I already have some uh, other fonts pre-selected, so I'm just going to go ahead and implement that. So I'm gonna change the header font to Prada. You'll see that automatically went ahead and changed all of the header fonts on here. So that was quick and that changed it across the board. And then the body font, I'm gonna to change to Quicksand. Right now it's Montserrat, Montserrat. I think I, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, <laughs> but I'm gonna change it to Quicksand. And you'll see that the body font changed across the board as well. So once that's done, you want to change the body link color. This color is, if you have a hyperlink added in anywhere, this will be um, the link color for that. Again, super, super simple. Just go ahead and click in there for the body link color. Body text color, you can change it there. 
header text color. Let's see. Now it will change the subtext, I believe. Let's see what that changes. Header text. I did not change that very much. So that didn't change anything um, in there. So we'll go ahead and change that in the styling guide. Oh, it did, it changed right here. You'll see that color reflected there. So I do have a couple of variations of header fonts and I do have that all listed in the styling guide and you will be able to update all of that across the board in the styling guide. Um, so that is, let's see, see that's a header that got changed as well. So there is that. And once you've done the header, the body text and the body link color, like I said, don't fret over these other headings and these headings, we will change those in the styling guide. So go ahead and back out. Background, if you were to make the background of your entire website a specific color right now, it's, it's you don't have to do anything with that. Buttons, so we are gonna go ahead and change the button style. And these are the buttons here. Button style, you can also do this in the styling guide. You don't have to do it here. So text color, I'm gonna change to that purple. Background color, let's just show you. So I do have it set again with the transparency so you can go up or down with that. Uh, let's see. And that will change all of the buttons because I do have them set to default. The only thing that you aren't changing is you see how this, um, the capitalizations are across here and these are bolded. So we'll have to do that in the styling guide. If you don't want that look, if you um, want it to just be normal, we can remove that. Or if you want it at all capitalized, you can do that here or underlined. You can do that there as well. You can actually bold that. So that's what that looks like. So we'll go ahead. That bold actually looks good, but we'll go ahead and back out. Border color is the border around the button. So you can change that there. And then the border radius is I have that set in the styling guys, so you don't have to do that here. Button font, we'll change that to quicksand. Oops, went right over it. And that changed there. And then you can actually change the icon color as, or the icon for it as well, and that'll change. So you can scroll through those and change those there. You can change the icon color here see that that changed. So once that is done, go ahead and back out. Button hover style is when you hover over the button, it, you can actually change the way that that looks. So if you made that pink, you can make it like that, or you can make it purple. And then you can change the text color. So there's the hover. And again, we'll go over the styling guide. You can actually make a few um, further changes in there to the buttons and it'll implement across the board as well. So go ahead and uh, home page settings. Like I said, if you wanted to change the home page, you can come in here and do that. And if you were to have a blog, you could um, change that in here to set the blog feed page. So once you've made those changes to um, the headings and the fonts and the buttons, go ahead and click publish to save those changes. And now we are gonna work on the header and the footer of your website in the theme builder.